Syrian rebels on Saturday seized a major air defense base in a strategic region in the south near the Jordanian border. The latest battlefield triumph for fighters seeking to topple President Bashar Assad, activists said. Fighters with a rebel group active in the south stormed and seized control of the base used by the 38th Division after a 16-day siege, according to a statement posted on websites of the group known as the Yarmouk Martyrs Brigade. The base near the village of Seda is situated along the international highway linking the Syrian capital, Damascus, with Jordan to the south. Fighting in Syria's southern provinces bordering Jordan and Israel has increased sharply in the past few days. The Syrian Observatory for Human Rights said dozens of people, mostly opposition fighters, were killed in heavy clashes this week in the Kuni Ifra region along the ceasefire line between Syria and Israel in the Golan Heights. The Britain-based group, which relies on a network of activists on the ground, said it had documented the deaths of 35 opposition fighters and that contact had been lost with more than 20 others believed to have died in the fighting. Dozens of others were wounded, the group said. The fighting in the area intensified midweek after rebels seized a village and parts of other villages, closing in on the strategic plateau that Israel captured from Syria in 1967 and later annexed. If the rebels take over the Kuni Ifra region, it will bring radical Islamic militants to a front line with Israeli troops. The rebel force comprises dozens of groups, including the powerful al qaeda linked Jabhat al-Nusra, which the Obama administration labels a terrorist organization. The observatory said all Nusra was among fighters who seized the airbase in Daraa province. Both the rebels and the observatory reported that the opposition fighters killed the base commander. In Damascus, supporters of Assad gathered in downtown amid tight security for the funeral of one of Syria's best-known clerics who was assassinated in a brazen mosque bombing earlier this week. Security forces sealed off all roads leading to the 8th century Omeyyad Mosque where the funeral for Sheikh Mohammed said Ramadan All Beauty, an 84-year-old pro-government cleric, was held. All Beauty, his grandson and 48 others were killed Thursday when a suicide bomber detonated his explosives inside a mosque where All Beauty was giving a religious lesson. His assassination was a blow to Assad, who vowed Friday to avenge his death saying he would purge the country of the militants behind the attack in the heart of the capital. Both Assad and the rebels seeking his ouster have blamed each other for the bombing at the mosque. All Beauty, the most prominent religious figure killed so far in the two-year-old conflict, had supported the regime since the early days of Assad's father and predecessor, the late President Hafez Assad, providing legitimacy to their rule. Mourners carried All Beauty and his grandson's coffins, draped in white cloth, on their shoulders amid shouts of God is great. All beauty was imam of the Omeyyad Mosque, the landmark in Damascus. Church bells tolled and mosque minarets in the ancient city blared God is great during the funeral procession. Syrian state TV said Assad was being represented at the funeral by one of his cabinet ministers. All beauty's burial site is in the courtyard and the rear of the mosque near the tomb of Saladin, a medieval Muslim ruler. In a show of support. A delegation from the Lebanese Shiite Muslim Hezbollah group, a staunch ally of Assad, drove to Damascus for the funeral. A delegation from Iran was also present. We will continue on the same path, said Sheikh Mohammed Yazbek, a member of Hezbollah's highest decision-making body, the Sharad Council. We will return the blow to the enemies of Syria and the enemies of the nation, he added. In Egypt. Members of Assad's own minority sect who are opposed to his regime held the meeting that organizers described as the first of its kind amid concerns about their fate in a post-Assad Syria. Rebels fighting to end Assad's rule are mostly from the country's majority Sunni sect. Assad is a lawite, the Shiite offshoot of Islam. Members of the a lawite community who make up about 12% of Syria's population have either rallied behind Assad or stayed quietly on the sidelines of the civil war. The meeting of about 50 Alawites reflects fear within the tiny set that they would fall victim to revenge killings and assassinations should Assad's regime fall. They plan on seeking assurances from opposition chief Mu'az al-Kadak who may attend the meeting on Sunday.